I'm John Congemi, and I'm pleased to be joined by the new head coach of the Miami Dolphins, Brian Flores. Brian, welcome to South Florida. Welcome to the Miami it's a Dolphins. Pleasure. It's a pleasure. Uh, you've had a crazy 12, 24 hours, I guess, <laughs> coaching in the Super Bowl. Uh, you coach a defense that doesn't allow a touchdown, and now you're named the head coach of the Miami Dolphins. Have you been able to enjoy any of this over the last 12 hours? I'd say it's definitely been a whirlwind, um, but I am humbled. Uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate. Um, to be in this position, to uh, have coached the group that I coached last night, and, and to have been with the organization that I was with for the last 15 years. Uh, the Kraft family, Bill Belichick, um, um, they were incredible to me. Um, and um, I, am, I am excited and honored to be uh, head coach of the Miami Dolphins, and I'm, I'm looking forward to, 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 to some great times here. I can feel your passion of, about being a head coach because there's only 32 of these jobs. What made this job so attractive to you? Um, like you said, there's only 32 of these so, um, in the world, right? And this is, um, this, this sport, you know, uh, I've said this many times, um, you know, this game is the, is the one, it's the, it's the one thing that leveled the playing field for me. So uh, to be a head coach in this league is, is a dream come true. Uh, to be a head coach for the Miami Dolphins is a dream come true in that this is a great organization with great history. Um, with a great fan base, and I'm excited to be here. Um, and, um, you know, it's an honor and a privilege. Everyone knows about your defensive ability to coach football, but not many people know that you've coached just about every position on, on both sides, and, and including special teams. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that that made you well-rounded and, and made you uh, a prime target and gave you the experience to step in to become a head coach in the National Football League? You know, I think all those experiences uh, definitely um, helped me. There's no real area in, in the organization from a personnel, from a special teams offense, defense standpoint that I don't have some understanding and knowledge of. Uh, so I think that, you know, that works to, you know, to my advantage. I'll tell you one thing, I don't have all the answers, that's for <laughs> sure. Um, so I'll, I'll lean on our coaching staff, our personnel staff, um, and really anyone who can help this team win games. You know, I'll lean on them for advice for, uh, for uh, you know, anything they can do to help us. I know heading into the Super Bowl and even after the Super Bowl, your former players talked very highly about you. What is it about your leadership style that you could tell the fans in Miami? Uh, I would say it's very demanding. Um, I, want, I expect a lot out of, out of my players. Uh, I expect a lot out of anyone who's around me, players, coaches, um, you know, video, uh, nutrition, you know, I mean, everyone in the building, you know, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a standard and a standard of excellence that I believe, you know, you need in, in, in this game. Um, and I think everybody's a part of it, um, from the owner to the GM to the head coach to the people who clean up at, at, at nighttime um, when we're all out of here. Um, I think everybody's a part of it. So um, I like to create a, a team atmosphere. Um, I want everyone to be respected. I think that's the one thing that you know, my players know. They know that I respect them. Uh, they know that I care about them. Um, they know that when you know, I'm getting on them, I'm getting on them because uh, I want what's best for them and I want them to be the best version of themselves. I talk about that over and over and over again. I, mean, I want them to be the best version of themselves on and off the field. Um, and I think uh, you know, in my time in, in, you know, in the past in New England, I, I've been able to do that and, uh, and make that kind of impact and I want to continue doing that moving forward. I know it's early in the process, but everyone would like to know, what are you looking for as you go out and try to build this staff for the Miami Dolphins? I'm looking for, uh, I'm looking for people who work hard and who put the team first. Um, I would say that, and who increase team belief. You know, uh, guys who come in and, and can, and, uh, and make people, or help people believe in what we're trying to accomplish. Those are the kind of guys I want in the building, guys who, who work hard, guys who put the team first, guys who are selfless, guys who, you know, who, who, who really can, uh, can help build the culture. You talk about culture, you're coming from a culture that everything that y they did was about the team. Mm -hmm. Talk about your core beliefs and what culture you'd like to build as the head coach of the Miami Dolphins. For me, it starts with, you know, our, you know I, I, I would say our society in general. It's very individualistic. You know, it's about the individual. I think when people step in this building, um, I want everything to be about the team. Um, so we don't point fingers, all right? 
Just you thumbs? Know? Yeah, we're just thumbs. Yeah. All right? You look at yourself first. Um, you know, I think individuals are, self are selfish. You know, team players are, are selfless. Um, I think those are kind of the core values that I believe in. Um, and I think it's your human nature is to worry about yourself. But when you step in this building, um, you know, and really, it should really kind of move out outside of the building that you're worried about others and trying to serve others. I think that's important. Um, if we can get as many people on that page, then, you know, we'll build something special. Um, I think that's, those are, I would say that those are the, uh, my, my, my core values. Well, I know we're all excited and can't wait to see the product on the field. And it's a long time until that happens, mm -hmm. but every day you're, you're trying to build something Absolutely. towards a victory. So Absolutely. nothing but the best. Congratulations Thank again. Thank I you. wish you nothing but success. Thank you so much. You got it, Brian. All right.